Pretty Crime, English Language Convention, Present Perfect Tense, Past Participle, 8th Grade Skill Level, Question 27, Me Medicine, Antidote Your Ignorance, Show Some Love and Throw Some Bands on My Cash App, Cash App, Hashtag, Dollar Sign, Me Medicine, Keep Me Fueled, I Can Continuously Provide You With These Bills, keep you in the know and up your knowledge game. Be sure to subscribe. English Foundation, verb tense, question 27. Complete the sentence with the present perfect form of the verb. This is the first time we blink on historic Route 66, the same road that my grandparents took to escape the Dust Bowl in 1935. The task here is to shift the tense of drive to its present perfect verb form. The perfect tense describes completed actions. Another way of saying this is the perfect tense usually tells about something that has, had, or will have happened. To form the perfect tense, use a form of the helping verb to have with the past participle of the main verb. The past participle of a verb is usually the same as its past tense form. Its simple past tense form, that is. But sometimes the verb is irregular. The present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has started already. It uses a present tense form of the helping verb to have, which is either going to be has or have. Note that has corresponds to second person singular subjects, and have will be paired with the first person singular pronoun I, the first person plural pronoun we, the second person singular pronoun you, and all third person plural pronouns. All right, so that might have been a lot to digest mentally. Check out these examples. The sun has broken through the clouds. Note that here, has is the second person singular form of the verb to have. Again, it agrees with its singular subject, the sun. Also notice that the main verb broken is the past participle of the verb to break. The past participle verb form of break is obviously irregular. The verb form has broken is the correct present perfect tense. Now check out another example. John and Erica have played the violin for years. Note here that have is the present tense form of the verb to have that is paired again with I, you, we, and all plural subjects. Here our plural subject is John and Erica. So the present perfect tense have played correctly corresponds to its plural subject John and Erica. Now for a detailed solution. Again, the present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has started already. It uses a present tense form of the helping verb to have, which is has, H-A-S, for singular third person subjects. And just in case you're wondering, an example of a singular third person subject would be the noun road. Obviously, it's singular because only one road is being discussed. When communicating from a third person point of view, you're basically acting as a narrator and you mention the person, place, or thing you are speaking of by name or you discuss your subject with pronouns like he, she, it, or they. You're going to use have, H-A-V-E, for first person communication. This is from a speaker's point of view, also known as autobiographical communication, so you're discussing yourself. First-person communication employs the use of the singular pronoun I or the plural first-person pronoun we when more than one person discusses their point of view. Have is also used for second-person communication when the speaker is directly addressing an audience of one or an audience of many individuals, whereby the you pronouns are used. So we're going to have you. So we would say you, your, or yours in second person communication. And have is also used for all other plural third person communication.
Again, this is when we're discussing things from a narrator's point of view, and an example of a plural third person noun would be grandparents, because we're talking about more than one grandparent. So either form of the verb to have is then combined with the past participle of the main verb, and voila, we have the present perfect tense. According to this rule, have driven is the present perfect tense of the verb drive. The main verb drive is irregular. Notice that the past participle verb form driven differs from its simple past tense verb form drove. That's D-R-O-V-E. I'm highlighting this difference because some tend to assume that the past participle verb form is always the same as the simple past tense of a verb. This is only true for most regular verbs and a few irregular verbs. Moving along, we have preceded driven with the present tense form of the helping verb to have that agrees in number with the subject of the verb we, a plural first person noun. Basically, with everything I've said, what I'm really trying to say is have driven is definitely the correct present perfect tense verb form of drive 